Hey everybody, welcome to Movie Time, I'm Sean. Lots of really cool news this week coming out regarding X-Men Days of Future Past. First of all, they dropped the trailer. If you guys haven't seen this yet, please check it out. I watched this trailer three, four times already. I'm so happy. The last two weeks in a row, first of all, you had the Captain America, the Winter Soldier date. Now this week you have X-Men Days of Future Past. This trailer is awesome. The music, the tone of this trailer, it lets you know that this tra this movie is serious. They got so much stuff going on in this trailer, so many characters. Keep your eye eyes peeled. You can maybe catch some characters that you've uh, you didn't hear about that are going to be in there. But it's a really cool trailer. Check it out. I'm really excited about this, and we're only like about six months away from this movie. I cannot wait till this one comes out. Check it out, guys. Another trailer that dropped this week is the new Wolf of Wall Street tra trailer. I'm really excited about this movie. It looks pretty awesome. Leonardo DiCaprio looks like he's going to give a great performance. Uh, Matthew McConaughey uh, looks like he's going to be another great performance. He's really done picked his movies well this last year and a half with Mud, uh, Wolf of Wall Street, and uh, the Dallas Buyers Club. He looks like he's going to get something at the award season, you know, when it's coming up. The uh, trailer looks awesome. It's just about better than the first one, or as good as the first one. The first one was awesome. Back to some superhero news. It's been reported that the role of Quicksilver in the upcoming Avengers Age of Ultron movie has been cast by none other than Aaron Taylor Johnson. You guys know him from Kick-Ass 1, Kick-Ass 2. He was also in the movie Savages. Um, the character Quicksilver is going to be allowed to be in Avengers and the X-Men Days of Future Past. In the X-Men Days of Future Past, he's going to be played by Evan Peters. Evan Peters was also in the first Kick-Ass. He was the friend, I think, of him getting his butt, uh, when he was getting his butt kick at the beginning of the movie. Um, so you got this character played by two different people in two different movies. Uh, this I, I this is really cool. I like Aaron Taylor Johnson. He's a pretty good actor. He has I think he has some skill. He just hasn't had a chance to really expand on what he's been in. But I mean the fact that he was in Savages and I didn't realize it till sometime this year. I was like wow. So. He does a good job acting. I'm really excited about this, and I think he's going to pull it off. In other casting news, it's been reported that Emil Hirsch has been cast as John Belushi. Now, I, I don't know if this one's actually going to happen, but this one is in the works. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's right there on the forefront of this. John Belushi movie would be pretty cool. It would be pretty interesting to see what his life was like. Um, I've only seen him in Animal House. And I want to see what other aspects to his life he had. I want to see, you know, learn the history about him. Because he's one of those characters, one of those actors that are very revered by all a lot of movie fans and a lot of comedy fans. So I want to find out more and I hope this movie t does get made. And Emil Hirsch is a good actor. I loved him in uh, The Girl Next Door, Into the Wild. I mean, he's a really good actor. I think he has the chops to pull this one off. And the last bit of casting news, it's been announced that Christoph Waltz is going to be playing Chris Pine's dad in Horrible Bosses 2. I'm really excited about this father-son combo that they're going to have in there as the bosses. It's going to be off the charts. Christoph Waltz is one of the most charismatic and best actors in all the movies that, that that's going on right now. I, I just, I'm really excited about this. Just about any movie he's in, he steals the stage. He's always put as the supporting actor, but he, he could pull off any movie by himself pretty much. He's a great actor. Alright, in theaters this week, guys, we have Ender's Game and Las Vegas. These two movies look pretty interesting. Ender's Game is based off the book. The trailer's been getting a lot of weird uh, reception. It's not all been positive. I've seen some negative receptions towards this trailer, the original trailer, and all the marketing for it. I'm hoping that the movie can actually, you know, break that mold because the, the, it looks really interesting. I love these space movies, and there's not a lot of stuff that comes out like this much anymore. Um, you did have, you know, over the last year, you had uh, Oblivion, After Earth, some of those types of movies, and that's good. I'm really happy they're coming out, and this is another one to add on to that. So hopefully it breaks that mold, it gets rid of that negative press from all the marketing and the trailers, and hopefully it turns out to be a great movie. The other movie, Las Vegas, with four great actors playing the, the playing the lead characters in this one. You got Kevin Klein. You got uh, Morgan Freeman, uh, Michael Douglas, and Robert De Niro. I call him Bob. This movie looks pretty funny. I would like to see what they get into in this movie. If it's stuff that I do in Vegas, but it's gonna look even crazier because they're older gentlemen. Um, but whatever it is, I, I'm, gonna, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. I like Morgan Freeman and just about anything he does. Um, and I'm just excited about this one as well. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys gonna be watching either of these movies in the theaters this weekend? Alright guys, and our last week of the month of horror, our movie of the week this week was, you know, I was feeling good so I decided to watch a monster movie. Uh, the movie I watched is Jack Brooks' Monster Slayer. It's not a big movie. I saw the trailers for this back in 07 and it made me fall in love with it. So I ended up watching it and I actually, I actually really liked it back in 07. One of, the, one of the only movies that are supposed to be in the horror genre that I actually go out to buy or see. Um, so it, I was definitely surprised with my attitude towards this one. 
Um, I watched it again. I've watched it uh, numerous times before, and I and I, I still enjoy it. It's it's a it's a silly monster movie, of course. It's not going to expect it to be like this, you know, Citizen Kane type movie. But it's really cool. You got this guy. He's angry, always angry, and he bursts out into rage fits. And the reason for this is because his family was murdered by monsters. Um, that's no spoiler. It's in the first ten minutes of the movie. Um, so the movie goes on. It's about him and his life and controlling his anger. One of the big surprises of this movie, the thing that makes this movie work, I think, is Robert England, Freddy Krueger himself, is in here, and he's playing himself, he's playing a character, and I gotta say, Robert England, dude's a great actor, he can pull off so much stuff. I, I know this whole episode of Movie Time, I've been talking about these great actors, but I cannot deny how I feel about some of these actors. Some of these guys are really good. He does a great job in this type of genre, um, especially with all the makeup off, you get to see his, his, facial, his facial expressions are great. I really like it, and, and just... All this leads up to a movie where you know you just have a good time watching it. It's a horror movie. It's a scary movie. It's you got monsters and it's you got some comedy in there and it's it's just, it's really nice. I really enjoy this movie. Um, I definitely would say for you guys to go out there and rent it. Um, it doesn't have that mass appeal as a horror movie or a monster movie. It does have a you know a, a small segment cle uh, a niche uh, appeal to it, and I fall in that niche. So. If you guys definitely are looking for a, a nice, good movie to watch, fun movie to watch, go rent this movie. Go check it out. All right, guys, you know how I like to wear very eccentric shirts, lots of different shirts with designs, cool designs. This shirt right here I'm wearing is called Roar. It's, it's designed by a guy I met named Evan Eckerd. He has a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Evan Eckerd, E-V-A-N-E-C-K-A-R-D. Check out his YouTube site. It's really cool. He uh, is a really good artist. He draws pretty much everything you could think of. Um, he on the on the site he also has some you know live live sketches where he speeds it up, shows you how the process is done. He shows you how to make uh, font, all kinds of cool stuff. Check out his site and uh, this shirt right here. It's called Roar. You guys can uh, you know check that out too. It's really cool. I really like it. Pretty awesome. Shirts feel nice. Go check out his YouTube channel. You guys will be pleasantly surprised with what he's got going on over there. Alright guys, that's it for movie time this week. Remember to click the like, share, subscribe buttons down below. Leave your comments, questions, inquiries, and suggestions for movie of the week. Next week we're starting all new. And uh, let's have a great conversation this week. We'll see you next time.